Good morning. Today is Thursday, September 12th, right? Yes. And I'm so tired. I just dropped my daughter off at school, so I'm getting ready to go get my, I think, eighth fill. I don't even know what number I'm on anymore, but I'm getting a fill at the plastic surgeons in my expanders. And that's it for this week. Next week, I have another fill. And I don't think I have any other doctor appointments, so I'm going to combine both of these vlogs together into one video because it's not super exciting, but I'm in the works of making more YouTube videos. So let's get on the road and I'll see you in the next clip. circus tent again <laughs> but this is the room we we'll do a quick room tour and then we're gonna get started and yeah I love this picture I don't know what they are little they look like little cake pops but they're flowers and over here is um, all the stuff they use to access my expanders and that's the saline that goes in the expander in these little tubes it's actually like really cool and I know I repeat myself every week but just in case you're a new viewer and this is the first video that you're watching of mine. I just like to do the same thing every time I'm at a doctor appointment so you can see what to expect for your appointment. All right, I will see you in the next clip. All right, so I'm all done. We did 40 cc's again, and then I come back next week for another 40 cc fill. Um, they are, here, let me take my jacket over here. They're looking pretty good. They're getting there. So, um, she said, once I reach the size that I like, we'll just do like two or three at the most more fills. So there's enough skin there for the exchange surgery. So I'm almost there. Can't wait. <laughs> All right. So I will see you next week for next my next appointment. See you in the next clip. Hello friends and good morning. It is Thursday, September 19th and I'm getting ready to go to my, I forget what number it is. <clears throat> I think the ninth, the ninth or the 10th expander fill. But before I get on the road and get in the car and check in from there, I just wanted to show you my lashes because they were growing back really well after chemo. And then in traditional chemo tradition supposedly this is common they fell out again not completely but like long ones were far and few between i had like two <laughs> they were like spider or spider legs and then they grew back again but not as long and full and pretty now they're like kind of falling out again hold on i have a little goober here i just did my makeup i'm so tired and my allergies are out of control but if you can tell they're so tiny now. Of course, I just did makeup, but I'm going to look up and see if you can see them this way. See how there's not that many? They're like spaced out again. They're reminding me of what they looked like when they were falling out from Taxol. So I know a side effect of the hormone therapy. I'm on, I'm on hormone therapy for five years. I take Arimidex daily. It's a pill for five years. And then I get a Zolodex monthly injection for five years. So I know the side effects of low estrogen and being on hormone therapy is hair thinning, hair loss, alopecia, and your lashes coming out, all that stuff that makes you feel pretty like a woman <laughs> stripped. So um, I, I expected this, but I it's frustrating. So 
uh, makes my eyes water. When your hairs are constantly falling out and regrowing, the follicles irritated, clearly. And when it's irritated, you tear. We'll call it tear-itated. And my corners of my, plus allergies. So like the corners of my eyes are just always wet. Sorry, I had to fix my eye. It was like driving me insane. But that, I just wanted to share that with you. If you're going through hormone therapy and experiencing hair loss or hair thinning. Oh, hold on. I have a bald patch too. Now, I don't know if this was from wearing that floral headband I was wearing for a little while because that was kind of tight and it rubbed here. So maybe it rubbed away or if it's just the side effect of my um, medicine that I'm on. But I have like a little patch right here that just is not growing that great. If you can see, it's like a clear, clear as day. It's where I call it my, my unicorn horn used to be there. I'm just like, why front and center? Like, why couldn't I have had this bald patch like in the back where you don't even see it? But as this hair starts to grow, I'm planning on just covering it. Oh, the joys of constant things that your body changes and does from cancer and cancer treatment and side effects of medication from cancer treatment. All right, so I'm gonna get on the road and I'll see you in the next clip. All right, so I am officially in the car and officially ready to get on the road and get my expanders filled. So let's get on the road. the procedure room it's like my favorite room because it's kind of like or but not it's like a baby or anyway, i'm bringing you over here again real quick this is all the stuff they will use to fill my expander and to access it this thing's really cool because it has a little magnet on it and it can locate where your port is your port is on the expander it's like um looks like an areola but it's just metal and they know exactly it's a self-closing port too so they know exactly where to insert the little needle it's like a butterfly needle that's attached to a tube where the saline flows in to slowly expand your expanders it's really neat how it all works um but that's it so I'm gonna go get expanded and I'll see you in the next clip. Oh wait, hold on. Here's my camping tent parachute hot air balloon gown. And there's my there's my body. And here's my gown. Crazy. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in the next clip. All right, so we did 40 cc's again. This is how they're looking. Definitely getting there. So I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, I'm back in the car. Just real quick, um, there were patients, other patients walking out, so I didn't want to keep recording in there. <clears throat> but they are almost to where I want them. See how, like, the projection's not that great? They're getting there. They're definitely, like, big, but I have a wide chest wall, so they're not, like, projecting out as far as I want them yet. Um, so probably a couple more fills and then I'll be like, okay, this is where I like them to be like forever, not too big. And, um, we have to do like three ish fills after that to have enough skin to fit the size that I'm comfortable with. So that's it for now. Um, next week I'm going to see my oncologist for a follow up in person, not a telehealth. And we're going to go over my four blood works and get like a base read of how my white blood count and my neutrophils are doing on the Verzenio <clears throat> now that I've been on it for two months, almost three months now. So um, yeah, I will check back in with you next week and update you on how that all goes. And I want to thank you so much for being here with me always on my journey. 
and watching my vlogs, even though they can be a little boring. Maybe they're not boring. They're informative, but they're also a little boring. <laughs> so I hope you are having the best day and I better see you in the next one. Bye everyone.